The earnings for the big banks here in the U.S. get underway this week, and they are closely watched by Wall Street as broader indicators of how the American economy is doing. There's evidence that consumers are spending more, that companies are still borrowing, and that's all good. But when you get down into the nuts and bolts of these stocks, there are a lot of moving parts that may make it that they're not the best places to put your money going into earnings. Most of the major universal banks have big ticket issues that they will be dealing with this quarter. Let's walk through them. Bank of America CEO Brian Moynihan has said that trading revenues will not see the boost from volatility that they may have seen in the past. He says that trading revenues for the quarter could be flat year over year. When he said that, the stock moved down. Now, Citigroup CEO also saying the same thing, but Citigroup also has a large legal charge that it has already announced it will be taking for the quarter. That will wipe out nearly all of the company's profits, though CEO Michael Corbett said he does expect the company to eke out a slight profit, but still, it's nothing that investors usually want to see. JP Morgan Chase is a unique situation. In early December, the Federal Reserve announced new stricter capital rules and basically singled out JP Morgan and said that that company, uh, as opposed to all of the other banks in the system, would need more capital on hand as a buffer for the assets that it has. The company will need to respond to that when it announces earnings, and it could see some value destruction in the short term as it reallocates some of its assets. Finally, Wells Fargo is the wild card here. It's already become the most valuable bank in the United States. Some analysts have said that its bull run could be over. Some of the heat could be taken out of the stock, not for any specific reason, but just because the valuation at this point could be overheated. Worth noting that on a full year basis, Wells Fargo is the only bank that Wall Street as a consensus sees revenues improving for the whole year. So we are seeing very low growth in revenues, low growth in EPS as we head into bank earnings. So we'll watch what happens when they get underway.